Hey, everybody. Um, I'm going to do a quick video or maybe a medium length video when I am out and about on the Oregon coast crabbing. Usually I'm on land. I don't I have a boat. It's just not ready to crab. But when you're on land, especially when you're on a dock, there's a lot of newcomers coming out there and they say, hey, how do I crab? When's the best time to crab? This is all going to be about when is the best time to crab. It's not going to be about um, where do I crab? There's plenty of places to crab, but I'm going to show you. You're going to go to tidesandcurrents.noaa.gov. I'm going to click on Oregon. It's going to ask you to put in a zip code over here. I'm just going to click on Garibaldi. Okay. And then I'm going to click on the station home. And it's going to take me here to Garibaldi. I'm going to click on tides and water levels, but I'm going to go to the, the NOA. We want tide predictions because that's going to give us our tide chart. And that's what we're going to be looking for. So down here you have options and you can scroll, scroll through here. They have Metards, Tillamook. I mean, they have almost all of them in here. They're probably in order. I was going to go down and do uh, Yaquina. Let me see if it's in here somewhere. Crescent City. We should be down. Walport. Um, here we go. Yaquina. We're going to do this one. Let's say you're going to Yaquina on Saturday. So Saturday is the 10th. We're going to go from the 10th to the 11th, and then we're going to plot it. You're going to be off a dock. So you're going to be there during the daytime. The best opportunity I feel for catching keepers is during slack tides. And slack tides are going to be your dots here. And they're going to tell you how high the water level is. I think it's above sea, above sea level. So we have two, two feet here. Then we have 7.57 feet for high tide. So here is our low tide at 10, 13 a.m. And here's our high tide at 4.49 p.m. I personally feel like if you can put those tides in the middle of your crabbing spot, you're going to have better luck, especially when I'm going to tell you what a swing is. The swing is the difference between low tide and high tide. We're looking at six feet here because you're or six, five and a half feet, which is fairly small. Even this one over here, look at this one, but that's in the morning. The smaller the swing, this area right here, the more crabs I believe are going to be out feeding. But your best bet is in these slack tides when the water is going to slow down, it's going to completely stop, and then it's going to start going the opposite direction. The closer you are to this, the better off you're going to be getting your crabs. That's my personal opinion. You can look through these all day. I mean, they can go through, they change. There's not, there's not a given right time or wrong time. I personally feel like it's the slack tide. Not everybody does. But that's my opinion. So if you want to find out a good time to crab, look up where you're going, put your dates in, and look for those slack tides. Now, personally, on the low tides, I don't like to crab when it's super low. I think two would probably be my limit for low. If it went much lower than that, and there are days where it's a negative tide, I would probably skip that tide, especially in Newport, because the public dock, you're pretty much, there's no water under you there. The, the crabs are there. A lot of them just bury themselves in the sand. That's the good time for clamming. I'll do some more on that later. But right now, I just wanted to show you where you are um, or w when is a good time to crab. And it, like I said, it depends on the date and where you're going. Use this chart and it will help you.